Hi, and welcome to an overview of the Pepperstone Trading Simulator software. Today, we are going to be taking a look at how to install the Pepperstone Trading Simulator software on our MetaTrader 4 platforms and some of the key functions that it can offer us as traders. Firstly, we need to left click on View and scroll down and select Strategy Tester. This should open up this window. From this window, we can select our expert advisors, in this case, Pepperstone Trading Simulator. We can select the currency that we'd like to test our system on. This is changeable. We can also select the modeling type of data that we'd like to use. We recommend every tick for the greatest accuracy. We can select the period in time. In this case, we'll select one hour, but you can use any time frame depending on what you prefer a date that we'd like to test from and to, and we need to left click on visual mode. We can also go up to expert properties and select the initial deposit that we'd like to trade with our trading system. From this point, we can click start. MetaTrader 4 will now contact the Pepperstone live servers and download real live historical trade data. This is great because it means that we don't need to go into a demo environment we just use the trade simulator from our live account. When that successfully happened, you should see simulator paused appear up on this left-hand window. We can then click this button to make it start. What you should see at this point is that price has started moving on the chart itself. If this hasn't happened, you can control the speed down here by scrolling backwards and forwards on this bar. If you take it all the way to the right, you'll notice it's very quick, but somewhere in between 28 and 31, it's approximately 10 to 20 times faster than whatever that chart time frame is. So if you were trading a 15 minute chart, it would take approximately one minute for each 15 minute candle to actually move. This is great for beginner and intermediate traders because it allows us to test our trading systems in as short a time period as possible while also fine tuning our strategies. And this can be very beneficial because chart time is very, very important to becoming a successful trader. So let's begin by how to place a trade in the trading simulator. We can go up to this window and you'll see here it has a lot size, a stop loss and take profit level and also a trailing stop. So in this case, we could think the market is potentially going down. So let's press sell. You can see here that I've selected 50 stop loss in pips and 50 take profit in pips. And that's appeared on the window. We can see our sell, our stop loss, and our take profit. Now, as traders, we generally use either indicators or price action and usually prefer charts that look a little bit better than this. So we can either import our templates by right clicking on the chart, going to template and selecting our template. In this case, we'll use the Pepperstone template which I've prepared with the two moving averages for our trading system. Or we can add indicators by going up to insert, indicators, and selecting an indicator. In this case, we'll select MACD. So from this point, we can now begin trading in the trading simulator with our trading strategy. So let's speed it up and see what happens to this trade. So you can see here in this case, we lost on that trade. But now let's look and use our strategy. So in this case, we were only looking at, let's say buys when the MACD was above the zero line and the moving averages had crossed to the upside. So we can see here at this point, the moving averages have crossed and it's time for us to buy. So we click buy again and you should see our window appear. So at this point, we can actually use another thing that's a great tool in the trading simulator, which is called Smart Lines. If we select the line tool in the MetaTrader 4 platform and bring that over the chart, then double click on it and click Alt, we should see this window appear. And this allows us to close either partial orders or our entire order at a certain point in time. So let's say we want to close some of our long. So we'll take profit. We'll close a certain percentage of it. So let's close 30% of it. And 
example, you'll select the order, in this case, this buy of 0.1. And we can press save. So you can see here that it changes the color of the line and then we can speed up our strategy test. Now at this point, what we can see is that our order is still in, but if we scroll over, you'll notice that we actually sold 0.03 or 30% of our order at this point above where it hit the line. We can also do this for vertical lines. And this is more for timing in the market rather than a take profit level. So again, we put the line on the chart, double click, press Alt, and it will open up this smart line package. So from here, we can select ticket again. We can select a certain percentage. So in this case, we'll select 100%. Should change color again, and we can speed up the timing. And you can see what happened. It took our profit at that point. So now let's take a look at some of the ways that we can trade a little bit more as a percentage of our account or use some form of risk management in our trading when using the trading simulator. If we go to this yellow button here and left click on that, it should open this window or the new order window. From here, we can select all the different types of order types, buy limits, buy stops, sell stops, buys and sells. You can also select from the lot size or percentage of equity or percentage of balance or even a fixed cash risk. And this is great because if we use the percentage of equity in this case, let's say 1%, it will actually work out using our stop loss and either pips or percentage to how much risk we should be placing on that trade. And this helps us test more efficiently when it comes to our trading systems. We can also select trailing stop here and add comments if we'd like to. But the best feature of this is that we can save it as a template so we can quickly use it again. So let's save it as a template, call it Pepperstone, and left click on save. Template has now been saved. So this now allows us next time when we'd like to place a trade to quickly do it by clicking control and left clicking on the yellow box. And you can see here our order template, in this case Pepperstone, and it instantly executes all of our predetermined risk parameters. Another great feature of the Pepperstone trading simulator is that we can press stop and then we can analyze our trading method. Here we have an example of what you'll see when you finish using the trading simulator and go to analyze the results. You can see it's a lot more detailed than the standard MetaTrader 4 analysis tools. You have information about how much closed profit you've made, how much balance is at the end of your trading simulator results, and also some quick handy stats in terms of total return percentage, monthly return, weekly return, trade win percentage, and profit factor. You can also go to this drop down list and select different ways to view in graphical form. So we can see cumulative profit, percentage return, and even down to the number of pips that we made over the weeks. So if we select that, you'll notice that the graph changes and gives us a handy way of seeing which week we were profitable in pips and how many pips we made and which weeks we weren't. Another great feature is that we can go to the orders window and we can see here all of the different orders that we've placed while using the trading simulator. You can also see whether they are wins or losses and how many pips or profit we lost or made. The main great point about this is that we can filter our results. So we can go up to the left hand side, click filter, select date ranges, select opening from, select maximum or minimum lots, symbols, etc. We hope you enjoy this new tool and it helps you with creating and using a trading strategy more efficiently and effectively. We'll see you in the next video.